Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to copy layer styles easily. And I'm going to show you two ways to do it. Uh, the reason why you want to know how to do this is, for especially for those of you that are new to Photoshop, is you tend to do some work on one layer. Like, I've got four layers here, and I've done some work on this how-to, and I've created a, you know, a kind of cool looking style here. And I don't want to have to recreate this individually on each layer, as in I don't want to go to this one and then recreate the bevel emboss, recreate the stroke, recreate the outer glow, etc., etc. So um, the way to do that is to go ahead and create your styles like I've done here. I'll just click on them and I'll show you what we got. We've got a bevel emboss, we've got a stroke, we've got an outer glow and a drop shadow in this particular uh, incident. Uh, so what you do is you want to go to your uh, effects and this is where it gets tricky because it's not it's not obvious. Um, you hold down your alter option key, hover over top of the effects, not over the individual effects but the effects itself, layer effects all, and then you drag and drop it onto the layer that you want to apply it to. So I've taken all of them and if you look carefully it's kind of it says effects there and then I drag it onto copy. When I do that, copy gets all of the effects. I'll do that again just to show you again. Holding down Alter Option over top of Effects, dragging and dropping onto Layer. So we've got the first three layers. All of them have the same effects, which is exactly what we want. Now on the fourth one, I'm going to do something a little different, and then I'll show you a final way um, in a second here. But what I want to do on the fourth one is let's say you only want to move over a couple of the effects or just one of the effects for that matter. So instead of taking all of them, you can actually take just one at a time or one or whatever you want to do. So let's hover over bevel and, and emboss and I'm hovering directly over top of that. Hold down the alt or option key and drag and drop it. Now when you see there in the grayed out kind of a semi opaque there, it says bevel and emboss. That means I'm only transferring this one style to styles for that matter. <laughs> So you'll see the bevel and emboss hasn't been applied, but the other ones have not. So if I want to take the stroke, hover over, drag and drop it, and you'll see it underneath here that it's popping. Sorry, that dog barking is my dog, Kingston. <laughs> Shh, Kingston, we're recording, buddy. <laughs> He's very handsome. You've seen him in a lot of other tutorials. Now, guys, the last thing I will show you is you can actually take all of the effects and then make a style out of them. This is the final way to do things. So if I was to click on effects, double left click on it, You'll see here that I've got all of the styles. If I just move this up here for you, they've got the four different things applied here. Now, what you can do is create something called new style, and then let's call this Kingston because that's the name of my dog, and he barks. So we've got a new style called Kingston, and now let's take off the effects. Let's just delete them. Uh, let's delete them. Yeah, let's do that because I want to show you how this works. Uh, I'm going to drag and drop them. And then for that layer on how to, it has no effects applied to it. If you want to apply all of those effects all at once, you go to Window, Styles, if it's not open. Mine was open over here. And then you'll see that when I hover over this, it says Kingston. Now, if I left click on that, bang, it applies all of the styles. So these styles can be reused infinitely over multiple different documents. You can even share them with your colleagues. It's a really, really cool time saver and it really saves you a lot of time from rebuilding each individual layer with the styles you want. So anyways, that's a quick tutorial, guys. I hope it helped. Uh, if you like, if you have any questions or anything you need to help with, just leave me a message or send me a question or do anything you'd like. Uh, hit me up and uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, we'll get back to you soon. Thanks for watching the tutorials. Cheers.